What is good everyone and welcome back and happy early Thanksgiving food day. I love Thanksgiving because of the food and that's really about it. And I'm off of work, so that's cool. And I'm off on Friday because of it, that's cool. So happy early Thanksgiving food and off of work and school day. Hope you guys are having a great one and we are going to like you guys suggested, continue our Face of the Franchise series where we are the quarterback. Now, this is going to be more of an episode where we go over all of the off-season stuff. Now, you're probably like, Dre, what about gameplay? That rhymed. Dre, gameplay. Well, this episode, no. But there are going to be a lot of things that you need to tap into right here and watch until the end. Because there's going to be a big free agency signing and possibly trade. You're probably like, wait, what do you mean? I'm telling you, you're going to want to watch this. Anyways, 2022 season recap. We won 52 to 28 versus the Colts in the Super Bowl. Yes, the Colts did have Matt Ryan, which is crazy because he's not doing too well in real life, but he took us into the Super Bowl. I was the also Super Bowl, Super Bowl, excuse me, MVP. Now, Matt Ryan lost in the Super Bowl once again, just like he did with the Falcons. So he decided to retire. Julio Jones retired. There are a lot of players who are retiring um, in this season. Now, I'm not going to go over all of them because that would take way too long. And, um, you know, honestly, I'm not trying to just, you know, I'm saying go over every single player. But you are seeing some key players that are retiring from teams uh, that probably need them. So they're going to have to, you know, what I'm saying pick up some new players in the offseason, make trades as well. Um, so it's important. Mercedes Lewis finally retired after 17 years. He's been playing in the league longer than some of y'all have been alive. How old are y'all, by the way? Comment down below and let your boy know. I'm 29. I'm an old head. It's like, nah, I'm not that old. I'm about to be 30 in April, though. That's, that's lit. I'm excited for that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe, like, I was thinking about going to England. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go to a soccer game or I don't know. But anyways, we won the Super Bowl. That was the second time for the uh, Seattle Seahawks. And you are seeing right here that Pete Carroll said, you know what? It's time to put up the gloves. It's time to hang up the boots and retire. So he did. So because of that, I think it's time for me to go and face a new challenge. Who should I go and play for? What's the most important, not most important team, but what team needs a quarterback the most? There are a lot of teams and obviously I am a Super Bowl MVP and I'm a now, I am now an 86 overall, which means I'm solid. I'm a solid QB. I can bring your team to a bowl. And that's what I want to do. So I can go basically anywhere. But what team has weapons? What team has players that can really complement my ability to throw the ball and also, you know what I'm saying, run, block for your boy, all that good stuff? I was thinking the Vikings because the Vikings are very good. I was thinking the Raiders. Obviously, they're paying me bread as well, 87.8 .8 million. I can, like, take care of my whole family with that. You feel me? I mean, I could take care of my family with 47 and a half million as well, but I'm thinking about the Vikings, the Commanders, the Raiders, the Niners, the Falcons. Basically, everybody is on the table. But what I think I'm going to do is this. We're going to go and look at the Vikings one more time. 70 million, a 2,000 bonus as well. Comment down below also. Let me know, what is this bonus thing in the per game? Like, per game 500, bonus 200. What, what does that do for me? And then the red R per game R bonus. I don't understand what that is. But I do think it is time for us to join the Minnesota Vikings. They have a very good team. In real life, they did get spanked recently, but it's okay because not you can't go undefeated, really. I mean, you can, but who cares about that? It's about the Super Bowl, and that's all I care about. So you guys are seeing right here the depth chart. We will go over our team. I will be the starting QB. Um, Kirk Cousins has dropped to a 74 overall, which means that he is not that good. Not good at all, actually, anymore. A 74, that's not good enough. Especially with a team that has Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Dalvin Cook. We'll go over that in just um, a bit. But I will be the starting quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. And then we do have Dalvin Cook, who is a 96 overall. Look at the speed, the acceleration. And then look at also the second string running back. He has 94 speed, 96 acceleration. So we have a lot of speed in the running back position. Now, ball carrying, uh, not in the 90s. But look at the ball carrying vision at 96 for Dalvin Cook. And also the break tackle is at 96. So 
he's able to break tackles his trucking is low at 74 so he's not gonna be able to like you know what i'm saying downhill run and truck someone but if someone's trying to tackle him while he's like spinning juking all that kind of stuff he will be able to break it which is going to be something that we really need him to do uh all the weapons will be utilized on our team so i'm very excited about that and like i said the running back right here got speed for days this man got wheels, and we are going to make sure he is involved as well, especially in the passing game. Now, fullback CJ Ham, but this is where the team is deadly. This is where the team is unstoppable, and Justin Jefferson is the best, if not one of the best, or is one of the best, if not the best, wide receiver in the NFL at 90. Did I say six overall? 97 awareness. I mean, look at the catching. Catching traffic, spectacular catch at 94. That should be higher. It should be a 99 spectacular catch, especially after the catch he had that was a one handed just moss. While the other defender, the cornerback, had two hands on it, he had one hand brought it down. One of the best catches I've ever seen. Um, it was amazing. But with that being the case, a guy like that and then having a compliment as um, Adam Thielen is also a very solid wide receiver in the nfl i mean there's no way that we're really going to have trouble moving the ball down the field especially because i have evolved into a very good passer last season did not start too well but then we evolved into one of the best qbs in the nfl broke the records for most touchdowns most uh passing yards that's what we do man now nick or nick moose will be our tight end tj hawkinson will not be our tight end he was traded away in the offseason obviously because he's not here so the offensive line is also pretty weak which i'm not happy about harrison phillips will be our left end our right end will be the guy whose name i can't pronounce can't pronounce his name follower you so i don't know but daniel hunter left outside linebacker 90 overall very good our linebacking court is solid eric hendricks as well 88 overall middle linebacker solid and let's look at our next linebacker, right outside, and Zadarius Smith, solid. Our cornerbacks need work. Our cornerbacks need a lot of work. Like, we have one cornerback in the 70 overalls. Everybody else is less than that. I don't know if we're going to be able to really lock people up. I mean, look at our free safety is not that good either. But our strong safety is very good. Obviously, Harrison Smith is one of the best. Now, we're going to go over some of the rosters so you guys can see who got traded and things like that because a lot of trades had happened. Now, look, Josh Jacobs is now with the Falcons. That is crazy. I believe they still have Marcus Mariota as their quarterback. So he's going to be an addition to the team and definitely going to be a player who's going to help them moving forward. We all know the Falcons um, are not as good as they used to be, but Josh Jacobs will be a big pickup for them. Devin Singletary is the running back now for the Niners which is going to be huge for them as well and then Debo Samuel did leave the 49ers as you guys are not seeing and they replaced him with wait they have Melvin Ingram too but they replaced him with Sterling Shepard so they did pick up a uh, receiver but Debo Smith is a beast all around threat and he is not there anymore Trey Lance will be their quarterback because Jimmy G is gone uh yeah so look no Debo Sterling Shepard will be the replacement at an 81 over um, overall. Now, Kareem Hunt will be the running back for. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm tripping. I did... Russell Wilson is now on the Giants. And so is Kareem Hunt. And so is DeAndre or Deontay. J whoa, hold up. This team, the Giants look nice. Brandon Sheriff will be protecting Trevor Lawrence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shaquille Griffin is 85 overall. Very good. But I'm still tripping about the Giants. They got Russell Wilson, Kareem Hunt, Deontay Johnson. Calvin Ridley is back in the NFL, reinstated. And he's with the Jets. TJ Hawkinson is back with the Lions. Nobody else here that I'm really seeing any big pickups for the Lions. Jair Alexander is a 98 overall. What? And also, I don't see... Whoa, whoa! Josh Allen is with the Packers? So that means that Aaron Rodgers left. Who did they trade to get it? Whoa, this is wild, bro. McCaffrey back with the Panthers. I see DJ Moore is still there. 
they don't really have anybody else that they picked up that's very game changing. I guess they got Robbie Anderson back as well. Matt Carroll will be the QB, which means who was there that left? Baker Mayfield was there, wasn't he? He left. Lamar, what? Lamar Jackson and Joe Mixon are now New England Patriots. This is insane. Wait, and Saquon. Hold up. Wait, no, Saquon. What? This is crazy. They have three 99 overall players on the Rams. They're going to be coming for the Super Bowl next year for sure. Are y'all seeing this correctly? My Baltimore Ravens got Tom Brady. We went from Lamar Jackson to Tom Brady. I don't see how this is possible. What? Aaron Rodgers is on the Saints? All right, my old team right here in Seattle. They got DK Metcalf, Jamal Adams, Tyler Lockett, Noah Fant, and Odell Beckham. Bro, I should have stayed. They didn't tell me Odell went there. I mean, they have no QB. Jacob Eason is a QB, 61 overall. That's going to be a struggle. But Kenneth Walker is the running back, who's actually very good in real life. But look at this. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Odell Beckham, and Noah Fant, bruh. I should have stayed. I think the Vikings might have been the wrong decision. What do y'all think? Comment down below and let your boy know if that was the wrong decision. TJ Watt is back and not injured. Deshaun Watson went to the Pittsburgh Steelers and Miles Sanders. That means where did, um, who's their running back? I forgot his name for some reason. I can't think of it right now, but they have Miles Sanders. David Montgomery went to the uh, Texans. That's going to be a good pickup for them. So this is extremely crazy. I don't even know what to say right now. And also, I want to mention one thing right here. You are seeing that it's saying that we actually are on the Commanders. So we, for some reason, picked. I picked the Vikings. Was I traded to the Commanders? Was I left off the team? I don't know what's going on, but now I'm on the Commanders instead of the Vikings. So comment down below, guys. Let me know. Do you want me to play on the Commanders or do you want me to play on the Vikings? Or I can't actually. I'm stuck with the Commanders. So do you want to see a season with the Commanders or do you want me to just stop? Just completely stop and start over a new QB position, a new QB face of the franchise because you don't want to see the Commanders. Let me know down below in the comment section because I don't know. I mean, I will play with the Commanders and try my best, but it's going to be difficult. Let me know what you guys think. This is going to be a crazy season. But for now, you guys already know your boy is signing. Outs.